Welcome American Red Cross volunteers. Thank you so much for joining me today to go through our biomedical department overview. Whether you're brand new to the organization as a whole or just starting off supporting our biomedical line of service, we're happy to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Lisa Jank. I am the program manager for our National Biomedical Services volunteer team here to get you familiar with our biomedical services department, your role in the organization, depending on your volunteer title, as well as some how to's to stay connected with us at the American Red Cross. Today's agenda, we will go through the American Red Cross overview, our biomedical services overview, a welcome to our biomedical volunteer team, your Red Cross resources like using your volunteer connection, the exchange and training resources. As you already saw on my Red Cross overview, when you applied to volunteer, we are an organization made up of volunteers with our main mission is to prevent and alleviate human suffering in the face of emergencies by mobilizing the power of volunteers and the generosity of donors. We impact lives every day and here on this screen you see the many different ways that the Red Cross takes part. Um, we assist those in our community in many different ways through blood donation, through life-saving mission, um, through disasters, through military service and assistance to the families in need, as well as vaccination campaigns. You, our volunteer team, make all of that possible. 90% of our Red Cross workforce is volunteer Based. So you'll see here um, the, that pie graph, the volunteers versus employees, um, you truly make a difference. Um, last year we had 372,000 volunteers on our team with over 8 million volunteer hours. So please know that you do make a difference in all of our volunteer work. Here we are today talking about biomedical services and knowing that we had 20, over 20,000 volunteers that support biomedical services across the country. Um, so thank you for joining that team. Here is a look at our one Red Cross division and regional map. Um, wherever you are in the country, you will find yourself on this map. Um, we are comprised of six divisions. Each of our divisions does have a biomedical volunteer structure. Um, your local supervisor, your local rep will tell you more about that as you meet them. But here is just a glimpse of what um, the, the country looks like in terms of our division and regional breakdown. Now we'll get into our biomedical services overview. The American Red Cross Biomedical Services will fulfill the needs of the American people by providing our partners with safe, reliable, cost-effective, and sustainable blood products and related services. Um, our vision is to be the preferred, preferred provider of life-saving blood products and services to partner hospitals and patients through the exceptional engagement of donors, sponsors, employees, and you, our volunteers. Our biomedical services team goals and priorities all do center around being the low cost producer. That is our core strategy and surrounding that you will see all of the other strategic objectives and the strategic framework that go along with that. You are here today um, as part of this core strategy process. We really do look to be the low cost producer um, to make sure that we are providing our blood products in um, as inexpensive as a way uh, as we possibly can. And so your time, energy, and all that you give to us and will give to us at the American Red Cross really does play a part in being the most cost effective, efficient industry at collecting blood products and distributing them. So whether you're here as a donor ambassador to help out at blood drives, know that your role at that blood drive does really impact this low cost producer, um, helps our blood
blood drives run smoother, what has the operation um, run so much better, provides really great customer service. So do blood donors continue to come back again, really focusing on that low cost producer strategy. If you're here potentially as a transportation specialist, you're going to be moving blood products around, delivering them to hospitals, bringing them to manufacturing, also a really big part of this low cost producer strategy. If you're going to be working behind the scenes, um, you're going to be supporting um, all and any of our blood priorities, and you are a huge part of this low cost producer strategy as well. Biomedical services in your work really support the Red Cross mission. Um, each year, nearly 4 million people donate blood through the American Red Cross, and your volunteer work will directly impact that process. We provide more than 40% of America's blood supply here at the American Red Cross. Um, so being a part of that is really, really amazing. Volunteers support blood donors at blood centers, blood mobile drives, support the collection of blood by helping to determine donors eligibility, delivery of blood products and, uh, and blood from collection sites to manufacturing centers, and help behind the scenes with planning, training, program design, packaging, blood drive supplies, recruiting donors, many different ways to help in biomedical services. The need for the for blood in the United States is really why we're all here. Um, blood can neither be manufactured or created. So we are here to make sure that the units of blood, whole blood, platelets, plasma, everything are there when needed for all folks in our community, including these little preemies, Olivia and Cameron, who needed blood transfusions. Nearly 7,000 units of platelets and 10,000 units of plasma are needed each day. The average red blood cell transfusion is um, equal to up to three units. A single car accident victim can require as many as 100 units of blood. So really, really vital to continue to collect blood and support our blood supply. We really must have that blood on the shelves and to support all, fo all folks in our community, again, where every two seconds someone in the United States needs blood. We really are focusing on our blood and diversity, um, why the donor matters. There are more than 600 known antigens besides the A and the B on red blood cells. Um, so we need to make sure that we have matches for all of those in our community. Certain blood types are unique to specific racial and ethnic groups. So a focus of ours is to make sure that we are collecting blood from, from different racial and ethnic groups. It is essential that the donor diversity match the patient diversity. So we really are um, working hard to make sure we have a diverse blood supply. The importance of type O blood, many of us I'm sure have heard this before, type O is routinely in short supply and in high demand by hospitals. Type O blood, African Americans, 51% carry O blood, Caucasians, about 45% type O blood, and Hispanics, 57% O blood. So you see here from these figures that type O blood is very important to have on our shelves. And so um, our blood donors that are coming through the door or being contacted by our recruitment folks really do um, play a big role. Diverse populations really play a critical role in meeting the constant need for blood um, due to the many antigens as well as um, the need for um, type O blood. Here's a great image of the blood process that we have here at the Red Cross. You'll see in the up, upper left hand corner, there is a blood donor working with one of our collection staff um, going through the blood donation process. Donate his blood, um, that blood goes into a bag as well as collecting test tubes in order for our manufacturing and testing teams to be sure that um, the blood products are safe. So they go through a testing process. Um, each blood product can be um, separated into three different units, um, making that term that you may hear sometimes, each unit of blood can save up to three lives. Um, that is where that comes from. Then those units of blood, whether they are kept as a whole blood unit or separated into the three components, are delivered by one of our wonderful volunteers to the hospital and 
there for the patient in need, whether they're there for a medical treatment or a trauma incident, um, the blood is there for them. Here is an image of our biomedical services table of organization. Um, and yes, lots of information, but just wanted to show you all here how we are organized within biomedical services. Um, we are going to focus a little bit on our volunteer roles on the next slide. But what you can see here is we do have um, Paul Sullivan is our senior vice president of donor services. We do have um, Elisa Baznay as our senior vice president of supply chain um, and many, many other um, departments within our biomedical services, um, biomed sales and marketing, a medical officer, um, quality and regulatory affairs to make sure that we are keeping a safe and quality blood supply, process and product management, systems integration helps with our technology, as well as development and integration of business. So although we are a nonprofit organization, we still are an operating and functioning business that does have a uh, vast and an extensive table of organization that you all do fall under. So here's an image of our biomedical volunteer programs, and this is not an exhaustive list, um, but does show a lot of our more common volunteer roles. Kind of the two branches that we fall under the most as our biomed volunteer team is our donor services um, unit, business unit, and our supply chain business unit. Our donor ambassador program who reports to the biomedical volunteer workforce engagement rep. Um, those are our volunteers who help out at blood drive. So welcome to any of you who are taking on that role. We do also have volunteer medical screeners out at our blood drive who help with the health history and the screening of our blood donors. They report directly to our collections team supervisors. Then we have leadership volunteers who help behind the scenes um, report to our biomedical volunteer workforce engagement reps. Again, uh, welcome to any of you who are joining in either of those two roles and then many other behind the scenes volunteers that may be helping out donor services, um, recruiting blood donors out in the community, doing some um, some work in the donor recruitment department, maybe with um, donor recognition or um, helping with some um, donor giveaways. So many things that can happen behind the scenes in the donor services end. Then we have our supply chain end, and a lot of this does have to do with the moving of our blood products and our organization um, of the blood drives. So we do have our transportation specialist program. Welcome to any of you who are taking part in the movement of our blood products. Um, they report directly to our transportation coordinators who fall under the supply chain um, business unit, as well as any warehouse kitting program uh, volunteers who are joining us today. Report to the warehouse manager um, help with organizing all the kits and the supplies that are needed out at blood drives. Um, again, these are just a handful of our biomed volunteer opportunities. Um, so thank you all for joining in whatever capacity you may be joining us in today.